Hey y'all, Natalie here for Shimmers and I'm working with the March Shimmers color kits today and they are gorgeous. They are Cotton Candy Spritz, Goldilocks Shimmers, that's a Refreshment Creamies, a Sky's the Limit Creamies, and the new exclusive color which is Sweet Pea Spritz. They also come with these awesome um, hot air balloon stickers, some cute enamel dots that are now called spots and are coming to the store soon, as well as an exclusive hot air balloon cut file that's super cute. And so um, that was my test page and it turned out so beautifully. I'm definitely gonna use it for something. So this is my actual layout page and I've gessoed it with clear gesso. And now I'm setting up to start painting a rainbow. And I'm gonna fill up the whole page with a rainbow. Um, basically, we are doing a, um, a challenge this month to not use pattern paper. So I'm creating the entire background full of shimmers, no pattern paper which really isn't that hard for me because that is what I love to do on here. Um, but when it came to embellishing the um, cut file, it, it was a challenge. Um, so what I learned from doing my test page previously is that I do need to apply the lighter colors first and let them dry a little bit, not completely because I do still want them to combine with one another. But so what you're gonna see me do here is that first, um, I'm gonna do a diagonal design and I applied the Refreshment Creamies, and I, that one's still wet, and I start applying the Goldilocks Shimmers. And then I'm using my heat tool to dry it along the way, but not completely, because like I said, I still want everything to combine. Um, and, and the Refreshment turns out really pale, and so especially compared to the Creamies, um, what color is that, sorry, the Sky's the Limit Creamies, um, which is very bold. And so you'll see me go back and add more refreshment creamies. And that's the fun thing about the creamies is because you can layer the color. If you want it really pale, then you can have it that way, or you can let it dry and add another layer of color and it turns out more pigmented. So now I'm working with the sky's the limit, um, adding more water because it is really bright. And I want the organic, smooth, no brush stroke lines here. And so I'm letting it kind of mix with the green a little bit. Most of the green is dry, but there are still little bits that are not. And then I'm, I'm drying it and then I'll go back in and add some green. And I mostly let the, these three colors dry together before I start in with the pink and the purple. So there I am adding another layer of the Refreshment Creamies just to make it more vibrant. And those are dry and you have to add water to them. So they're super, they dry so beautifully, so shimmery. Um, we have had some devastation in Nashville this week, lots of tornadoes, a lot of sad things happening. So I needed some rainbow in my life. Um, there's always some rainbow after the rain, right? So now I'm showing you there that um, the it's still a little bit tiny bit wet in the middle, but mostly dry. So then I came back and added in the cotton candy spritz in the top corner and it looks so bold and bright, but I promise it dries um, lighter than it appears on camera. It was actually really hard to photograph too. I'm sorry if it doesn't come through properly in, in photographs. I, I, I really agonized over that for way more time than I should have, but um, I think I kind of ended up with some okay shots. But now I'm also adding in some of that Goldilocks shimmerings on top um, to, and, and it mixes with the pink and it gives a little tinge of orange, you know, but not really a ton, but you know, like I said, I wanted all the colors to combine, but also still have their own separate colors there. So I'm drawing that and I'm going to flip the page over and I'm going to use the new exclusive color there. It's a spritz sweet pea and it is so gorgeous. I mean, if this doesn't spring, scream spring or Easter, I don't know what does. So before I spritz that, I, I went ahead and put some water directly onto the page. And I like that technique. I liked, um, 
having to use the brush less um i'll probably be doing that a lot more from now on <laughs> and the the color kept running off the page so that's what i'm doing there with my paper towel is mopping it up but you can see it's mixing really beautifully with the sky's the limit creamies so i'm really liking the mix of the purple and blue and it got a little bit over there into the green but that's cool because i mean it's a rainbow and it's not perfect um so um i'm having to do this voiceover with humans and dogs home and lots of loud wind so i apologize if it's hard to if you hear some background noise at some point so now i'm just going through and filling in some white spots it's cool to have some white spots but i had a few too many so just filling those in and here we have the final product and i'm so happy with it Oh, it's gorgeous. So I don't mind a crinkle page. I put them in my page protectors and they turn out really fine. Um, but I did hear someone talk about putting it through a mink or a laminator and kind of like without actually laminating it and um, it'll straighten it out. So that's cool. So because the background was so beautiful, I didn't want to cover it up. So I cut the cut file in vellum. Now I'm not super great with my Cricut and i always have accidents so you can see up there at the top like it it kind of messed it up but that's okay i can fix it but also it that that um it was supposed to have more cutouts in the middle but it didn't cut it out i don't know i had the vellum setting on but i think i need a new mat anyway um i kind of liked how it turned out though so i left it i didn't try to like go back and recut it or anything so i'm going with glitter cardstock doesn't count as pattern paper so I used glitter cardstock to back the basket and then the little flower on the basket I made out of the creamies color because my boys are wearing that color on their shirts. And so that's what I did there at the bottom. So now I'm going through with texture paste and I'm just gonna add three clouds in the page and I'm freehanding this. It is Ranger matte texture paste. It's very moldable and it is so fun, see? I told you I was gonna fix that spot. Um, I'm just gonna hide it under a cloud. And so I just grabbed my palette knife and threw some texture paste on there. I kind of did this organic shape. It's flatter on the bottom and fluffier at the top, kind of like a cloud. And then um, the thing about this is you are gonna have to let it dry for a long time. Um, I let mine dry overnight. That was probably longer than was completely necessary. I just didn't have a time to come back up here and get and work on it. But um, yeah, definitely a couple hour drying time there, even though it typically dries pretty fast. So I'm working on, I put my photos back and where the main part of the title is gonna go, so I know where I want my third cloud. So there it is, working with it. I'm really sorry about the dog barking in the background. I hope you can't hear it too badly. I can hear it though. Um, but yeah, that was fun to do. I really like how it turned out. And so after I build this, up i go while they're all still wet and grab a little bit of the super fine white glimmer glitter and you'll see me sprinkle that on there and just kind of like move the paper around to get it all over the clouds and it's sparkly clouds with my rainbow i mean i don't know how much more natalie you can get than that <laughs> so that's what i'm doing there sprinkling the glitter around and we let that dry. And here we are again. I'm gonna show you the texture, slow it down, yep, love it. I'm super excited about that. I love that how you can still see the rainbow paper through the vellum cut file too. I love that cut file, it's super cute. It would be really, really cute backed as well. So there are my photos and I'm gonna back them on a um, vellum envelope. It kind of mimics the um, vellum, obviously that I used for the cutout. And I just rip one side. Um, behind each photo to just add additional texture um, because the cut file is so flat against the page um, I like to add the texture with that with the textured clouds and with just little things like that like backing the photo the photos and everything so we're gonna adhere those down and then we're gonna start working on the title so since it's a hot air balloon my title is Hey Hot Stuff, because <laughs> they were just looking super cute that day. They both had matching shirts on the same color, so. Um, and that's where I'm pulling out from their shirts the title and the flower down at the bottom of the basket. Um, I cut the I Wear It Hot out from Manual Die Cuts. Um, and then these Pink Fresh Studio Small Puffy Alphas are the bomb, and they're the perfect rainbow colors to go with this kit. 
So um, I'm just using, they're sticky enough, but I am on everything except for these stickers. I'm just using my Nouveau glue because there's so much gesso and paint on this page. I'm not going to risk it. But these cute little hot air balloon stickers that are in the kit this month are super sticky. So I don't think they're going to fall off. And if they do, I'll just go back and restick. But I really don't think they're going anywhere. So I just throw those around the page. Um, I threw six on there um, in random spots. And now I'm going through with the new spots, um, which is a new enamel dots that the Shimmers kits are going to have. And Shimmers is going to start offering in their store. And so there they go. And I just realized I forgot to use the dots. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna add a couple dots on there. <laughs> and I do my journaling off camera. And um, you can find all the details in the blog. I'll have all the links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you pop over to the Shimmer store and grab you a kit. It is the cutest kit. I, this might be my favorite. I think I say that every month, but love it. Thanks y'all, bye.